Let's translate Joshua 1 verse 9. In this video today, I'm not going to do the diagram, and I'm not going to do the Hebrew reading. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that in future videos. We have hello. Ha here is not the definite article. It is the interrogative particle. Or, in other words, it's the question marker. So, this is a question. The definite article is hey with a pathak. But the interrogative particle is hey with a hatef pathak. Sometimes it can be with a pathak, and then it's going to be based on context. And uh, it can also be with a segel. It is a non obligatory interrogative particle. And in context, it's proclitic, prefixed to the first word of the question, which is exactly what we have here. So we're not going to translate this uh, necessarily just yet. Now, the next word is low. Low meaning not, no. It's a negative particle. So we have the question and then a negative. Now we have our actual verb. At first glance, it looks like this is a shurik, but it can't be because we have a hirik yod. So this is the vav with a dagesh. This would be a dagesh forte. So tsiviticha. So this is pl stem. It's perfect conjugation. First common singular. Normally it means to command. It's from tsava. So give an order, command. Subject is mostly Elohim or Adonai, addressing humans. It's not the case here. This is Joshua to the people of Israel. So, command you. This is our suffix. So, this is our direct object. And we translate it because it's a question and it's perfect tense. Perfect is either past tense or perfect tense. So, have I commanded you? But because it's low, it's have I not commanded you? It's a question. Have I not commanded you? Question. What was the command? First, we have chazak. So, this is cal imperative masculine singular. Imperative meaning second person. So, chazak, cal imperative. So, chazak means along the lines of being strong. That's in Middle Hebrew. In the hivphil, to possess, to hold. With Jewish Aramaic and Syriac, it's along the lines of to bind on tightly, gird on. Arabic. The related word is chazaka, to tie up. So, as you can see, there's this idea of strength, but also with binding. So, we see in the Cal, be strong, grow strong, prevail over, have courage, uh, even harden. In the PL, it can even mean gird someone with. That's the binding aspect. But that's not what we have in the Cal. So in the Cal, it's be strong, grow strong, prevail, have courage. So be strong, have courage, and here's our Vav conjunction, uh, and then our verb emits. So this is Cal imperative, which is second person, masculine singular, be strong. So if we were to translate it literally, it's be strong and be strong. The English translations say be strong and courageous. However, Emmets is not courageous. It's be strong. So you'll notice here we've got Chazak Ve'emats, to be courageous and strong. So interestingly enough, the lexical data says to be courageous and strong. The translations invert it be strong and courageous. They both mean to be strong, though. So it's really driving home the point. You need to strengthen up. Buck up, boys. Let's go. Be strong and courageous. Now we have a new phrase al this is also a negative particle it's a negation for requests rejections prohibitions and that's what we have here he's prohibiting what being frightened edits so this is cal imperfect second masculine singular no it's not jussive 
It could be justive, but it's not justive. So second masculine singular imperfect. Sometimes imperfect can function as a, a simple volition, meaning it can be a simple command. As a simple command, when it's combined with all, it's a prohibition. So it is do not be terrified. If you if you were to translate it literally as the imperfect, it would be you will not be terrified. But it, this is really a prohibition, so we're going to treat it more like an imperative. Do not be terrified. Do not be in dread. Then our Vav conjunction, another negative particle, and another imperfect. But this one's Nithal imperfect from Chafaf. And in the Nifal, it's to be broken to pieces, to be dismayed. So the Cal is to be shattered and filled with terror. In the Nifal, it's broken to pieces, dismayed. So don't be frightened, don't be terrified, and don't be dismayed. Why? Ki. Chi. Because. Because. Im. With. Cha. You. The Lord. Adonai. Yahweh. Your God, Elohe Cha, Elohe Cha. So you is the suffix, and then Elohe, this is Elohim, God. So the Lord your God is with you. So the verb is implied. There is no verb here. So because with you, the Lord your God. So what's happening is, first of all, there's no verb. Second of all, with you is the emphasis because the Lord your God is with you, if we were to enunciate it in English. The Lord your God is with you, Bechol Asher, literally, in all which you go. But Bechol Asher can actually be, as BDB has it, so if we're looking at Chol in BDB, the genitive after chol is often a relative sentence introduced by asher. That's exactly what we have here. And you can see chol asher has the force of where so, where so over, whither so ever, as Joshua 1 7. Well, Joshua 1 7 is the exact same phrase we have in 1 9. Bechol asher telech. So that's translated as wheresoever thou goest, using King James language. We're not going to translate it that way because we're not in Middle English era. So wherever you go. If you want to show your support and sport some cool merch, pick up this Greek Jesus is Lord zip up hoodie from the merch store today. So to translate, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified and don't be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe while you're at it, and continue watching by watching this video here on Numbers 1129. We'll see you next time.